He's one of many running backs that we'll see for the first time perhaps here this afternoon for Brian Kelly. And they do indeed give it to Carlisle, and he flashes some of that speed, picks up the first down, and is streaking down the sidelines before he's finally knocked out of bounds by Anthony Rowe. Practice broke his collarbone, but now it's George Atkinson's turn. We told you we see a lot of different running backs, and Atkinson has spun around. He's just a talented, smart, tough kid, and I feel badly for him. So here's Amir Carlisle back in after the big 45-yard gain in his first carry for Notre Dame. Instead, Reese goes to the air to his left of T.J. Jones. And Jones is loose. One man to beat. Knocked out of bounds by Roby. The receiver, the tight end, has got to get out and be the main blocker. Watch Troy Nicholas get out in front. Gets on number 29. Marshall kicks him all the way to the sideline. And now another playmaker, T.J. Jones. This is just too, too easy so far, Dan. They had the 45-yard run by T.J. Jones. Temple's got to step up and make a play. Jones, one of the three tri-captains who was named. And this is Atkinson sweeping to the left. Town, Pennsylvania. The DBs are the best at cracking jokes on the team. Well, they're not cracking very many jokes right now. They are giving up huge chunks of yardage. The fake to Cam McDaniel and Reese going to the end zone. Daniels again. Touchdown. Told the kid this yesterday that if he didn't handle that situation the way he did a year ago, both on the field and in the locker room, there's no way they go 12 and 1. So from the 10. After Notre Dame has made it look so easy against Temple in the first couple of series. And he's got T.J. Jones, who's got another first down. Michigan comes off the bench. Victory. Stanford off the bench. This kid was integral to that year they had a year ago. So they give it to Cam McDaniel. And the reliable team. The best of what Tommy Reese is all about this final season. Cam McDaniel has the first down for in such contrast to the four-star, five-star recruits that land here at Notre Dame as Matt Rule has to recruit, you know, four and five hours away from Philly. Reese goes down for the first time and in the back in the rotation. Now, pass protection with Notre Dame ought to be pretty good. The right guard, though, 74 Lombard. Once you drop your head, once you drop the head down. be a Tom Coughlin as far as offense goes. That's what he wants to do with his offense is open it up at Temple, and on third and one, Atkinson has the first down. <laughs> I, I think that means translation, I was athletically limited. There you go. <laughs> so Reese buying some time, showing a little bit of mobility, wow. and the pass, no. Second down in 10 from the 46 of Temple. And a quick pop out to Amir Carlisle, who they really like as a receiver, but Jersey area. Look at the front. Nobody's hands in the dirt till the last second. Reese with time, and T.J. Jones was open. Reese over Thurish after the first quarter. Have a 14-0 lead over the Temple Owls, and Notre Dame set up at its own 20. Cam McDaniel in behind Tommy Reese, and a fake to McDaniel, and a quick strike over the middle to T.J. Jones for a first down and more. I think he can help me get better. 40th consecutive start for Zach Martin on the left with his little brother at center and Reese goes made, yep. on the season last year but a big one in Norman as the Irish kept their perfect season alive and on second and five Amir Carlisle stay healthy he's only 5'10 185 but he's explosive he's quick and he can catch the football and on third and one Daniels in motion to the near side and there is Carlisle who picks up the first down for so I can't wait to watch him play now. Reese on first and ten, and that one is overthrown. In the country, so he doesn't quite go at warp speed. And this is Daniels. It'll bring up third day, the strength of the offensive line for Notre Dame. Yeah, it's as good a left side as they have in the country. Now you've got a first-time starter at center, and Christian Lombard kicks inside the right guard. So they need about five, and locked in at Daniels. Went. Taken over just across its 25-yard line, leading 14 to nothing, escaping a couple of field goal misses by Temple, and Reese right to work, and it is complete. Right now, look how deep he is right here, and then off the play action, he's bailing quickly. That's Zamel Johnson. Look at him turn his hips. Now it's going to take too long to get back. I mean, you can if they're going to give you that kind of cushion, and that's why they're up tighter now. First and 10 from the 40. And the give is to Cam McDaniel, who just plows his way up the road. And into Temple territory at the 42. Complete to T.J. Jones, and he's got another 
first down and more. 60 pounds, out wide. That's a nightmare for a defensive back. Pretlow gets blocked. Nice job, tight ends have to block the perimeter. So Reese has already thrown for over 200 yards. <laughs> Here's the give to Carlisle. And on second and 12 after the loss. Atkinson again after the pass protection. They want to slide it to the left because Dax telling them they've got a blitz coming his side. And here it comes. Reese steps up, fires, and that. Watch the offensive line slide left. They knew it was coming. Now there's a disconnect. Tommy thinks the receiver's cut. No, I'm sorry. He's going for Nicholas there. I thought because up top we had a deep post that was open, the throw was for it. A good look ahead also at the NFL kickoff weekend next Thursday's playoff rematch between Baltimore and Denver. That's all coming up inside a minute left here in the opening half. And Reese back to work. And big Troy Nicholas lumbering down and all the way for the touchdown. That's a way to break in to the touchdown reception category. Right down the seam. I don't know if there was a bust, but the only guy covering him is the true freshman linebacker, Jared Alwan. Now, nobody was behind in coverage. If that's man-to-man -man with Alwan on him by himself, and I think we have to talk about that a little more after this play. All right, Notre Dame beginning deep in its own territory. Really positive that came out of the big drive by Temple, which came up with zero points. T.J. Jones catches. can't tell the kid he's going to win the game in the one hand and then not give him a shot to make one from short distance on the other. All right, gain of seven on the T.J. Jones reception. This is George Atkinson, who's got some great speed. And Roll told us that, hey, we got to put the coffee pot broken. Yeah. Go get me some more, man. This is Amir Carlin. We're getting with 24 minutes or so without scoring after those first two scores. Cam McDaniel plows us here at Temple. And Matt Rule's staff. On third down, Reese going to Brown. Yes! 13 of 18, 309 yards. Brown with three catches for 57. And on first and 10, it is Cam McDaniel looking for the end zone. Close. Fresh and right tackle. Look at the split he's got right here. He's going to turn out on the defensive end and just take them up the field. The play of Stanley allowed them to kick Lombard in, thus making them better at two positions. Dan Hicks, you could have run through that hole, brother. <laughs> I don't know if I would have had the burst to the outside. 6'6", 318. Unbalanced line, but now they're going to change. Yep, still unbalanced. Nobody backside except Stanley. Daniel Smith in motion sets up in front of Atkinson, who plows for the, for the winner. Remember who it won that? Justin. Yeah, it would be Justin Rose. Rose. Boy, wow. battle behind a line of scrimmage there is McDaniel. But finish your thought. Martin, last time offensive line brothers 35 years ago for Notre Dame. So a big day for the Martin. And he's done a heck of a job. Very close group, the Notre Dame offensive line. With our offensive line coach, Harry Easton. Back shoulder. He melds them together. Nice toss to T.J. Jones for another first corner. And he's been torched today. He's been beat deep. So what's he want to do is get on top of the route. So Tommy throws it back shoulder. T.J. Jones. He's surprised if at one point, if T.J. Jones ends up being a first-round draft pick in the NFL. Wow. Just a really good route runner. And here is Amir Carlisle. Second down and nine. Final few seconds of the third quarter ticking off. As Notre Dame has all of a sudden found themselves in 28 to 6 Notre Dame. In a 37 here on the cusp of field goal distance. Reese looking for Brown. What a huge offensive day it has been for Notre Dame. Now in second and nine. Reese looks to the near side. Jones can't hang on. We've got ten and a half minutes left in this game. A ton of big plays. Reese still in at quarterback as Cam McDaniel heads up the middle. And there, and I live in Philly, and it, it looked like there was going to be A. Kelly as a head coach. I just wasn't sure whether it was Chip or Brian. Said that enabled Alabama to kind of manhandle them in the championship game. Just, he said, we didn't have enough depth for position. Today, only a tackle backside. Matikevich, number eight, is going to flash right there. Nice job in recognition. Run. A bit of a low snap, but Hendricks able to handle it and give it to Cam McDaniel. And right next to Hendricks is Greg Bryant. We mentioned him, the prize recruit, one of the highest rated recruits in the country. True freshman. 
5'10", 2'04". And Bryant up the of all time. It was for disadvantaged kids, and he's going to try and keep that going. And, and I give Tony a ton of credit for what he's trying to get done. Hendricks rolling to his right. Healthy again. In this game, serving for Brian Kelly to just kind of see what kind of Florida add him to the list of running backs. Folston, left side. Yeah, there's a hold there. Prosize track star in high school. And Hendricks handing off to Folston. <laughs> He's got some good two weeks ago. He punched Prince Shembo in the throat and almost fell over because every kid on the team is afraid of Prince Shembo. So those recruits see front. I said that a year ago. People laughed at me. Their front seven is an SEC athletic front. And now they're getting the skill positions. And when you fill in around with that great skill, you build a program. And right now, another true freshman. I'd throw the fade right now. Everybody's saying he catches absolutely everything that comes his way. They go to the other side. Yeah, he's completely. Ooh, good Yeah, well, it's a chance for them to put something on tape. Nationally televised game against a powerhouse like Notre Dame. Chance to show what you can do, even though Temple's going to come up with a short end here.